Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Today we're going to be starting in a new hospital, Plywood Studios. And I'm going to make sure to click restart because as you can see, I did actually build a room and that's all I've done here. So we'll restart. So anyway, cure patients for the camera on the set of Two Point's newest medical drama. So this one's really, really quite different. Um, it says, welcome to Plywood Studios where the producers of a new medical drama have asked you to run their show. They want a real administrator to add validity, dynamism, and an amusing gimmicky quality. I don't know why I'm doing this so many times for one sentence, but I did. On the show titled Back Wards, Roderick Cushion will be playing a senior doctor who's inexplicably forgotten all his training. They've decided to call the character Dr. Roderick Cushion because, well, I'd actually rather not get into that again. It's just simpler for Mr. Cushion, okay? Let's leave it at that. To produce a compelling county gripping hit show, you'll need to work on developing your main character, Dr. Roderick Cushion. People don't like characters who tread water. It reminds them of their desperate repetitive existences. <laughs> Roderick won't fraternize with the rest of the cast on his breaks, not on his salary. So he's got his very own trailer. If you can't find him, he'll probably be in there. Oh, and to inject some urgency into proceedings, the actors will be curing trying to at least real patience what could go wrong i have like I, I i built one room so i haven't actually played this level before but it does sound very interesting and we're like at a movie studio which by the way reminds me that we got to go back to the movies and do more videos on that but it looks really cool like there's all these different little sets obviously if you buy them it just turns into this kind of room thing but really really cool stuff around here and it says he has a trailer, though I don't know if that's an actual thing or that, that was just a fun description. So anyway, this is our guy here, Roderick Cushion, a student doctor. We need to train Roderick, Roderick and build a marketing. Just one, just one marketing, please. <laughs> and it said we also have to actually treat patients. So I guess that means we probably need actual doctors too. So I'm going to go for a GP here and some toilets. Oh no, I'll get the blue blueprint for toilets and my toilet blueprint just here that fits nicely and then we're gonna get the reception desk i'll put about there so i can sort of come in and, and hang out there and then oh yeah apparently i was complaining <laughs> about trash and waste uh last time but i didn't put any bins in anywhere so that's my bad i'm gonna put a bench right there by reception at least get some by the gp as well get a bin uh i don't know where i put that stuff yet let's leave that so do, do we have all the temperature stuff still whoa it's really hot here dang uh air con unit here we go so we're gonna need some air con in this place instead of heating whoa this is so hot now is that too is blue too cold wait which i'm confused which is uh like is orange good or is that i forget i think this is comfortable oh and all my blueprints have radiators in them oh no oh damn it i didn't mean to delete the room i was trying to delete the thing <laughs> okay yes and then i get no, 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 get rid of this. Yes. All right, aircon unit. There you go. And one in here too. It's a bit better. I mean, how much aircon does this building need? <laughs> okay, maybe I get two small ones in here instead. Maybe that's a better way to do it. Can we get like central aircon? Why can't this go here? How's that not reachable? It's like there's plenty of room. Yeah, right, that's looking pretty good. And then we need a marketing, which we will put. Hang on, hang on. Why do I still have this? There we go. Four by three. So it could go like this. And then I have another four by three space there, or I could go like this. Maybe go this way. So it's like length ways. Sure. All right. So we're going to go there. I'm going to do marketer's desk. I'll probably just start off with one marketer. So we'll just do that for now. Move this. Actually, this will probably need to be in the room. So we'll put it in there. Accept that. Let's have a look at temperature. It's all right. It's a little hot in that corner. All right. So we need, first of all, let's hire some people. We need, there's no marketing. Great. Uh, well, let's get you for the front desk. And we also need a training room, which we will put, which is this? Three by three? Put it here. Kind of a weird place, but I'm sure we'll shift stuff around as we go. That's my plan. And then one, two, three four five wow these are not aligned at all there oh and then we're gonna need well, two percent training speed four percent training speed hello these are definitely worth it although i mean it makes the room super expensive but we got four of those we should add plus i don't know if when is this plus four percent training speed i've never really understood does that mean if we had four of them it's 16 percent, or is it like it does plus four percent and then that becomes a new hundred percent then it does four percent on top of that so it's sort of like a diminishing return on these i i don't know which way it works so i figured i would ask a huge echo <laughs> these things would be so loud like in this room it's like just like <laughs> anyway that's sitting in there so let's have a look at our temperatures whoops temperatures there you go not bad place is really hot though okay so that's that uh let's train roderick in maybe just general practice i have to get someone in so give him a train there we go and hopefully we'll get some new applicants for assistance 
Probably need a janitor, maybe this one. You're very good at your job. And maybe a nurse would be good. We don't have anything. Actually, we don't even need a nurse right now. We don't have anything for nurses. All right, so you're there. We should probably get staff room. Actually, do I have a good staff room? Level three staff room. Do I have a level four one? No, level three. Just trying to figure out where the best place to put it is. Maybe here, because then we could actually use this back here as a big room for something else. So I'll put it here for now. Uh, and I'm going to get rid of the radiator because <laughs> it's going to be way too hot. There we go. Maybe a small one in this corner. There you go. Beautiful. Ah, marketing. Here we go. I guess we'll do a small campaign. Sure. I don't know why we need a marketing. I don't know. Well, whatever. <laughs> Ooh, we have a patient. Yeah. Hopefully you'll be done with training soon. All right, let's get some more bins and stuff around. So I'm going to put a bin here. We have salty, ooh, salty snack machine, a drinks machine, and a bench, and a bench. Now there was suggestions for other snack machines. They all just called machine. So apparently a musing snack machine stocked with morsel men, the snack that features a whole cast of different flavored characters, reduces hunger and boredom. Okay. And there's also laxative drink machine, which was recommended. Stocked with swill, healthy, thick, and loaded roughage. Reduces thirst. Oh, hello. Okay, I was reading that, but that's fine. Now that the show is fully underway, we'll start receiving requests from the show's producers about what they think should happen next. If they see their ideas make it into the show, we'll receive some additional funding. People online can be mean about television or about anything really. When someone says something negative about the show, it'll affect our reputation. Complete four marketing campaigns. I'm doing one. Have Roderick Cushing diagnose three patients, cure six patients with stunt trouble. What the heck is stunt trouble? I don't even know what that is. Have we had that before? <laughs> oh, danger zone. Cure patients with stunt trouble. Uh, Seven by three. You know what? Hang on. Oh. This is four by five. Seven by three. That's huge. Wait, does that count? No, it doesn't count. Man, this is a huge room. All right, hang on. Uh, oh, we need more diagnosis rooms. All right, get patient to wait. Hang on, just hold up here. Hold up. I guess I probably shouldn't buy that stunt trouble room yet. Let me get some general diagnosis. Hmm, where is the best layout in this place? Because again, it's kind of just, I guess that, that marketing room has really not helped me out. I think what I need to do, hang on, stop editing this room. I think I already need to move this marketing room. I think it needs to go this way. And then we move the door, move this over, move that out of the way. Finish put another four by three back there and a three by three in front of it. So I guess I'll just put this here for now. That should be fine. Okay, so now go general diagnosis. Oh, actually, let me get the level four one. Why not? So now if I put this here, for example, and we'll get rid of, oops, get rid of the radiator and we'll get cardiology, level four cardiology. Cause you see now we can put another room here and then we have a hallway still between them. So I'm gonna put this here, get rid of the radiator and then we're gonna get the aircon units cause these rooms are boiling. And hang on, I have to get the small ones cause the big ones don't fit. And one, oh, oh, hang on, I might, hmm, in this corner? Yeah, there we go. And I get another big one just outside the door. Yeah, there we go. Get some benches for waiting. And then I need a nurse for here. And I believe, th is this a nurse as well? Or is it? Yeah, th these are both nurses. So let's hire a couple. Get you for treatment. Neither of these are treatment rooms, but sure, whatever. And then you're a really good nurse, diagnosis skills. So you can go there. So get those two people in. Uh, marketing, that person should go back in, which is fine. And how much, I got uh, $27,000. Man, okay, we don't really have anything. <laughs> I mean, I did spend a lot of money on some of this stuff. All right, minus $6,000. Oh, it's just behind my head. I always forget that the money's behind my head. There you go, minus $6,000. And now we play the waiting game, hoping that we actually figure out what diseases we need to cure, and then we'll build the cure rooms, right? And hopefully make money. Oh, we should do the uh, hospital options as well. We need to build more diagnosis. How many diagnosis rooms do we need? Hang on, overview, policy, let's say fast track treatment decision. And we'll go treatment threshold 85%, leave, uh, Staff, leave room when idle. No, stay in the room. And yes, let's do that. Okay, so that means I need to go back to the GP after they're diagnosed, which is good. Pharmacy. I can get a patient away for that, I think. Can I afford a pharmacy? I don't have a lot of money, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, 11 or 12,000. Well, level four is only 12,000, so let's get that. I'll put it facing this way, because then we have a nice little waiting area here, you know? All right, so let's get rid of... Yep, I know our money's getting low. That's fine. We'll get rid of that. Nice big aircon unit. There you go. We got a little one over here, because it's a little warm, even though I've got an aircon right there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What is this snapping to? There we go. It's a little chilly now. Hopefully not too cold. <laughs> Oh yeah, snack machine, machine. So hang on, we had the laxative apparently increases health, drastically increases toilet needs. So that, that could be a problem. Uh, amusing, let's go amusing. Fancy increases, or oh, reduces hunger, increases thirst, okay. Reduces toilet machine. Hmm, I mean, we better get the laxative one just to test it out. You want some laxatives? Come use this machine. And here's some amusing ones too. And we'll give you some little leaflet stands because you guys always like a little leaflet. There you go. 
Enjoy, guys. Do I have enough bins around the place? Probably not. I don't have like any of it. Oh, yeah. Should we really get. Do I need another nurse? Actually, mm, might be okay. I could probably use another nurse. Producer idea. Place two action posters, rom com posters, zombie poster, and a shark bin. Wait, how do I. How do I remember what that was? Okay. Two action posters, rom com posters. I think we needed two of. A shark bin. Great. I just used my kudosh on those machines. I can't get the shark bin. No. <laughs> Wait, so how do I, okay, producer, reviews and requests, inbox, archive. Where do I find that request? So like, where did that go? I don't know. I don't know, it's gone. Whatever. All right, Roderick's doing pretty good, I would say. What's the queues like? We got a couple of people there, no one there. No, oh, it's pretty good. You know, I think we're rolling. Oh, here we go. A zombie poster. I don't know if I just wanted one of the rom-com, but I placed two. Oh, wait, I completed that? Okay, I don't know how I completed that if I didn't have the shark bin. Sure, cool. I mean, I'm fine with that. <laughs> hey, $6,000 for treating someone successfully too. Oh yeah, I gotta do... So wait, is this campaign still going? Oh no, with month three of three, okay. I probably need more marketers, to be honest. Might get another marketer's desk and maybe hire another one. Okay, well, we don't have one that can do marketing, so we'll see if we can get one. 6,000 bucks again, sweet. We're raking in the cash now from the cures. TV show review, two out of five. I missed some episodes and now I'm totally lost. Oh boy. Well, there goes the first one. So this is this is kind of this is kind of dark, this TV show, because it's a TV show about a hospital, but it's a real hospital and someone's really just died in our lobby. So <laughs> once again, I think we've just done swimmingly, haven't we? Good job, Dr. Roderick Cushion on that one. Well, I actually think that was the nurse's fault. They probably didn't treat them properly. So not my fault. Should probably upgrade the machine as well, I guess. It's 10,000. So I guess I'm going to do that. We don't have too many patients in here now, so I'll probably be all right. So we actually need Roderick to diagnose. We're getting a lot of diagnoses completed in these two rooms, I think. So actually, maybe it would have been a good idea to leave fast track treatment decision off because that means I'll go back to the GP for the diagnosis or for the yeah the treatment decision so oh I also just click reset by accident I, I, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that that back to 85 and we'll say fast track decision still oh that's off um so that we'll always go back to the GP that means we'll have more of a queue in the GP but it should mean that he specifically will uh diagnose everyone and we need another marketing campaign so let's just do another small one. Oh yeah can we hire another assistant oh yeah we can and extra stuff one oh we don't actually have enough desks in here hang on we'll get another desk in here there we go all right so that should be good hospitals in debt well hopefully we get some more treatments rolling staff promotion can i afford it sure why not <laughs> did i producer idea diagnose 10 that's not an idea that's just being a hospital diagnosing 10 patients i mean yes i'll do that of course <laughs> the show's producers have an idea oh how about this we run as a hospital silly producers <laughs> ah yeah upgraded a drug mixer too oh there goes my money <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm going to send the patient home. I do, we will need a ward, which actually could probably go back in this area here. In this weird shape. That would probably be good for a ward, I think. But I do need a little bit of money. Oh, there we go. We diagnosed three patients. Now I'm going to turn off that policy. So we're going to start fast tracking the decisions. So otherwise, because we'll end up with it. Yeah, you can see we've got a huge queue already for this GP, which is definitely not ideal. So half of these people should be able to skip this second visit now. Start promotion. Roderick Cushion to junior doctor. Right. Oh my gosh. Wait, no, hang on. Yeah, I forgot he had a crazy salary. Current salary, he needs to have 75,000. Well, why am I paying this? Shouldn't it be the show paying his salary? For him to actually be happy, or at least a little happy, he's 84, but we're gonna stay at a 75. All right, I don't think we can really afford him, but we'll do it anyway. Staff challenge, level five staff room. Nah. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Okay, yeah, we need the ward. How much is it? 7,500. Okay, we'll get him to wait. So now I think we might, might, being the key word, we gotta get one. Four by three, technically can fit there, which is good. And then we'll just extend it a little longer. Have the ward door. No. Oh. Apparently all of this is an invalid location, which is kind of BS, to be honest. As if it can't fit in the middle. So that means I have to do something silly like this. <laughs> And then it will fit, right? Yeah, what? So it fits here now because it's not an invalid corner location. All right. Does the nurse station fit in there at least? Nah. <laughs> this is the dumbest ward. <laughs> I'm going to put it there. I want to put a curtain. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I can't fit that. Good. I was going to say, if that couldn't fit that, I was going to be so annoyed. We'll get another one here. Wait, how much money is this going to cost me? 6000 Okay. We need at least a couple beds to start off with. Okay, that's pretty much all I can afford right now. Oh, yeah, we're going to need... Oh, aircon. Definitely need aircon. Well, I'll... let me build that first. Aircon unit, here we go. To get one down this end of the room, probably, is there probably we'll need another one. There you go. Maybe one out here as well for the hallway. There you go. All right, so now we just need probably an extra nurse, but 
One of these will just have to go there for a little while. Okay, uh, Roderick is gone somewhere. There he is. He is just off on break for two weeks. All right, see you, dude. So he, maybe he is going to his trailer now. I cannot afford a doctor, by the way. We have no money. <laughs> oh, hang on, he's coming, he's coming back in. We have a queue of eight. Fantastic. Oh, off he goes. I guess maybe I should have invested some money in hiring more staff. Maybe let's take a loan. Hang on, so what if we do 2,000 a month at 50,005%, we're going to take 25,000. Let's just do 50. Let's take the 50,000 dollar loan. I'm not upgrading my machines. I'm hiring another doctor because <laughs> I think we need another doctor. Treatment diag- let's get a diagnosis doctor. There you go. Probably want another GP. Which actually, I can definitely afford. So why don't I move? Oh, this whole area has kind of got scuffed with that ward there. So say, let me edit this room. I'm going to move it. If we could go here, it'd be so much better because I can fit two rooms here. I guess I should maybe go here down the hallway on the side, right? So I'll put it there. Yes, yeah, so we'll sell those items. And I'll move some of these items. Maybe then go back on this wall over here instead. And and is that going to be too cold there? Oh, it is. Maybe if I move the little one out, put this one back here. Sure, good enough. All right. Then we're going to go rooms. No, not general diagnosis. Oops. Level four GP. There we go. So we'll get a second GP. So when both doctors are on, we'll be able to use it. Get rid of the radiator. And then we'll just put the aircon in the corner there. So I just sort of shifted things around a little bit. And oh, it's still really hot at the back. How, why do you need so many aircons in this place? <laughs> what is it? Now I got a little baby one back there, maybe, or next to the other one. Uh, over there. There, now it's a little cold, but not too cold. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so we got the two GPs officers. So when what's his face, uh, Mr. Cushion comes back in, one out of five. What? what why is my show so bad? Well, it's not even my show, so I don't know why it's affecting me. <laughs> is he coming back in now? In you go. Get working there. See, at least he's got a nicer office. Okay, so we've got a queue of like four-ish there, and then this has got a queue of three. Small campaign's completed, so we're gonna do another small campaign. There you go. Oh, cool, we've got $30,000 for fulfilling the request as well, which is fantastic. Now, speaking of that, well, I wasn't speaking of it, of, of the loan, what, 48,000 left? If I get enough money, I'm just gonna pay it off like right away. Well, actually, how's the ward going? Do we have a queue for this at all? We do actually, so maybe I'll use some of that loan money to get some more beds in here. See if we can get a slightly better layout or something going on. Still not a great room. <laughs> this bed will be there. And then can I, I would like another one here. Actually, I guess if we really awkwardly put these two patients sleeping next to each other and then have another one here, we can get six beds in here. Oh, five beds in here, sorry. I could get another one down here too if I wanted, like that. <laughs> there you go. There's a few beds in that room. So that will allow us to get a few more uh, patients rolling through. I could actually probably do with another nurse, to be honest. Whoa, you're a good nurse. I'm going to be a cheap nurse though. So there you go. Because we only have four nurses. So essentially, one for each of the nurse base for it. Well, there goes that person. Although they're still paid, so that's always good. Always good. Uh, you would like a promotion? Sure. Can I train Mr. Kush? Actually, I won't, because it might ask me to train him again later. Oh, ghost. Okay, our janitor's on it. It's all good. Speaking of janitor being on things, I might get some more bins around the place. Can I else die? A lot of death going on. But, you know, as is, oh yeah, they died over there. <laughs> hey, uh, look, our profit loss is good. 18,000. That's pretty good. Uh, training required for you. You know what? Oh, hang on, what's the producer idea? Kill off! Does that mean I have to actively do something? Because, I mean, they're, they're kind of dying anyway. Uh, and I will also train you. Uh, intern assist... Oh, it's an ass ass assistant? I don't want to train an assistant. What a waste of money. But I will actually... I'll train you in customer service. Why not? Sure. It's a waste of money, but I'm going to do it anyway. Does that count as killing off a patient? Because they just died? <laughs> Look, I'm... Oh, yeah, it did, actually. That's great. 25 grand, dang. Uh, you want a promotion as well? There you go. You know what? This is going great. Where's that loan? I'll go, uh, I'll get rid of that now. There you go. So we don't have to worry about that. This is a pretty good looking hospital. So we only have one door to this building. It's at the front. So I feel like getting somewhere behind is going to be no good. Stage C is 40,000 though. B is 45. Stage A is 25. I want to get the shark. Can we get that? All right. So we're going to complete four marketing campaigns, cure six patients with stunt trouble, which we're nowhere near doing. I would like probably this stage, but it is quite expensive. Should we get this? I used to build 16. It's not very good. Oh, earthquakes. Who said there was going to be earthquakes here? When did that become a part of this? Training required for the nurse. All right. Well, we got someone already being trained. So we'll do some training. Oh, here comes the earthquake. Attention. There is an earthquake. Everybody just go crazy and don't worry about it. Did anything actually break? I think we're good. I think we're actually... Whoa, look at my profit loss. 39,000. Dang! That probably included the producer money. <laughs> oh, this guy definitely has stunt trouble. This guy definitely has stunt trouble. Now, the question is, can we fit it? Because I'm going to preemptively build this room. We're definitely going to need it. Seven. Oh, six. Damn it. It definitely cannot fit. Okay. We're going to need another building. I guess maybe this is it's the cheapest one. This is annoying because it's, it's quite far away. Oh, wait. Oh, does it join in? 
Oh, that's cool. It looks like it's going to join onto this wall here. I did not expect that. Ward emergency. Six patients with Inbegnito. I mean, I'll try. I definitely don't think I'll be able to do it, but we'll try. Staff promotion? Sure. I feel like we're rocking on the money now. Inbagnito is just something we treat in the ward. Sufferers believe they're being watched by spies or the international press. To combat their suspicions and protect their identity, they have adopted a derivative and ineffective form of disguise. Is it a bag? Is that what they're wearing? Where are they? I, I would like to <laughs> I'd like to see them. Oh, you got a broken bone. Oh yeah, fracture ward. Um, 13,000. I can probably build a fracture ward because this is built. Yeah, that's awesome. I did not know that they would actually join onto the building like this. Ooh, I wonder if this one then joins to it as well. That'd be awesome. Okay, this okay, that person potentially died. <laughs> I don't know. All right, fracture ward. Um, I wonder, I could probably actually edit this ward to bring it back in light. Hang on, let's see. I got some editing to do here. Will this work now? Oh, come on. Hmm. I think we could do something better with this place than that. I think maybe, um, I guess I'll leave it for now because uh, we, we got that ward emergency. I think we can definitely <laughs> make that better than what it is. Fracture ward has to be minimum four by three. So I'm just going to build it here. I think we'll probably be okay with what, like one, one of these, I reckon? I mean, I can definitely only fit one bed in here. So I don't know how much of a ward I would actually <laughs> actually call this thing. All right, aircon unit. There we go. <sighs> well, uh, we just built over that person's body. Is that okay? You guys, you guys cool with that? All right, so we've done that. Let me hire another nurse. Maybe we, oh, look at this person. Let's get this one. You're good. This place probably needs two nurses at the moment. So I'm actually going to hire another nurse. The really good nurse. And you know what? I'm probably going to get another janitor. There's ghost abilities. There you go. Cool. All right, so let's deal with that. That's all good. This is a mess of a light. Like, what is this? <laughs> all right, so, oh, there goes my money. Um, all right, danger zone, stunt trouble. Okay, well, I do need to cure them with that. I don't have any money. We can get them to wait. They may die in the process but that's cool. We also discovered square eyes. Now go for the to the pharmacy for that. So that's all right. Now these guys, yeah, yeah. They definitely have bags on the head. In Bagneto. <laughs> yeah, look at him go. Sweet. All right, hopefully we get some treatment money in a second here because I do need um, to build a new room. Danger zone. Seven by three. Oh, there is actually a door at the back. So it's... So by three, so we could do it here maybe. It doesn't even look, it's kind of annoying. It doesn't even let me plan the room. Like, cause I've got no money. I just want to start, start planning it out. Whoa, that's why, oh, this is awesome. They're going to go through like a stunt performance. <laughs> this is so cool. All right, well, I'm going to have to wait till I actually have the money here. So it's at least 20,000. So we'll have to wait a little bit here. Staff challenge, earn 100,000. I'll try, probably won't happen. How are my GPQs going? Actually not too bad. I actually look pretty good. Uh, danger zone. Yeah, I'll get him to wait. I don't, <laughs> don't know if that's a good idea. Whoa. Okay, never mind. I don't think it was a bad idea getting him to wait because I have enough money now. All right, let's get the stunt. Sweet. That's so cool. <laughs> uh, then we definitely want the fire extinguisher and we probably need an aircon unit on this side and on this side. Uh, and I'll give them the little sweet dispenser and a water cooler and a little chair too, don't I? A little wicker chair to sit. All right, who do we need for this room? We need a doctor. Okay, let me hire another doctor then. Get a surgeon in case we need surgery. Or we can get a student doctor maybe is a good idea. Get a student doctor. No. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get a student doctor. <laughs> All right. So let's have a look. Even with those two giant air cons in there, it's still pretty hot. <laughs> All right. Let's get some benches out of here. There you go, guys. I'm going to get a, la oh, you know what? I'm going to get another bathroom over here because I was about to put down a laxative drink machine. Oh, hang on. Hang on. We got to check this out. We got to check this out. Put it in slow-mo here. Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> I love their treatment rooms in this. It's so good. <laughs> Whoa! And then, wait, do you go back again? Round two! Whee! Oh, sick! That's actually really impressive that you could do that while going that slowly. Oh, did it work? It did work. I get $10,000 for it. Beautiful! That's pretty cool. All right, marketing campaign. We got to do another one. Spend that ten thousand dollars on a marketing campaign. Uh, training required. Yeah, I know we got to do some training. I just wanted to see if we needed to train um, good old cushion later or not. Okay, I got to place some posters again. Apparently, because they they're really obsessed with that action. Get them in here. Oh, we need to do two. Oh, it says place two on the, of any of those things. Right, that's super easy. Here we go. Wee. So this is regular speed now. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> okay. So what else we got? Training required? Not now. Uh, impress the VIP. Yeah, our hospital's nice. I'll impress them. Do we have a queue for the fracture ward? We have one person waiting to go in there, but we don't have a nurse there. So we failed one. Actually, we queued few, like four of them. That's actually way more impressive than I thought it was going to be. Challenge. Uh, oh, wait. We actually earned the 100,000 that we needed. Okay. 
Hey, we're doing pretty well. Secured five out of six patients. Also very impressive. Damn, well, actually, actually kind of a good hospital. <laughs> like kind of surprisingly a decent hospital. Now, speaking of decent hospital, I'm gonna upgrade some of these machines. Might get another janitor that can upgrade too. Increase, are you the upgrade? Yeah, you're the upgrade. All right, well, I might as well do some training. Who can I train? Maybe our student doctor and the other doctor. And I'm gonna train in treatment. And I'm gonna get one of the nurses to do it. Although it is 10 days quicker if you just pay someone to do it. Yeah, whatever, let's do it, let's just pay. <laughs> It means they're going to have two doctors not actually doing their jobs at the moment, which is probably not good. I also have both of these machines being upgraded, which means neither of those are working. So the hospital's going to come to a little bit of a standstill. But hey, there's not much I can do about that. I mean, there is. I didn't have to do any of what I just did, but it's fine. Oh, award season. You know what? I have a good feeling about this. Oh, a profit loss. Look at this. 59,000. Fantastic. Here we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we got two. Rising Star and Employer of the Year. I mean, I feel like we're doing pretty good for the rest of the stuff. I'm just saying. A celebrity is also currently touring our hospital. Producer idea. Have Roderick Cushion cure a patient. All right, well. Wait, how do I do that? I may need to be qualified to work in certain room. Yeah, because he's in a GP room. They don't really cure. So maybe if I put him in this room in Crash Course. Hang on. So if we go here. So Roderick Cushion, I'm going to take you out of GP and everything else. And just so make sure it goes into that room right now. Oh, wait. This is the wrong person. Okay, sorry. So I actually can't adjust his work. What I can do though, I think is pick him up and put him in the room. So if he does a good job in here, that will count as curing someone. Start promotion. Sure, right you. So Roderick Cushion, can he actually cure someone? The TV star himself? Or is he gonna botch it and potentially end this person's life? Let's see, here we go. Yeah, he did it, sweet. I got 20 grand for that. Good job, man. You got 10 grand for the treatment and 20 grand for the producers. That is pretty awesome. Training course completed, treatment. Good, so now we have a couple of doctors that are better at actually treating people, which is nice. Now let's do a training course for some of, I think our nurses we should get in here. Go nurse, nurse, nurse. And I'm gonna train them all in diagnostics. Oh, I guess maybe, because mm, the ward nurse should probably just be in the wards and they shouldn't really need diagnostics, oh, whatever. I don't know. I don't really micromanage this stuff that well. It just kind of works. Psychiatry, yeah, I'll get them to wait. Hang on, I can build that. I think what I also need to do is maybe we might need to expand a little bit more. But let's get psychiatry, which we can just put down over here for now. And we're gonna get that heater out of there because that's not gonna help anyone. And we'll get a nice aircon unit right there. There you go. We'll get another one down this hallway. A little cold in the middle here. If I pick that up, is that, hmm. So it's now a little warm down here. Ah, oh, that's a bit better. Yeah, yeah. All right, now I actually need a doctor that can do psychiatry. You, 62,000, this person's incredible. Incredibly qualified. So I guess you're gonna have to be the, the guy because that's the only one I have at the moment. Publicity update, sweet. We impressed them. <laughs> All right, so we just need to complete this marketing campaign over here, which is a couple of months out, or oh, one month out, sorry and cure a couple more from uh, stunt trouble. All right, we're gonna upgrade my drug mixer as well. Uh, we have a bit of a queue for the GP's offices. We might need a third GP. Oh, so we probably don't need two nurses in here anymore. So I'm actually gonna reduce that number. That was just when we had the influx. Producer idea, place one action poster, okay. How is that an idea? You just want me to put a poster up? They're like, yeah, just, just do one more. Can I get the shark bin yet? I want the shark bin. Oh, oh I'm 40 kudosh off. Oh, shark art? Dang, I want that. All right, let's get the rom-com poster then. Oh, let's get the zombie poster. That's a nice poster to have up in a hospital about zombies. <laughs> $10,000, here we go. A couple, couple of promotions? Sure, there you go. And another promotion, there you go. All right, I think what I need to do is delete this this whole room here, this 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 ward needs to go. <laughs> it really needs to go. Let's get rid of that. Uh, four by three room. Actually, I'm wondering, hang on. Uh, I'm gonna m just sell the staff room. I'm gonna move this room. No, that's actually a really bad place to put it. What if it goes here lengthways? No, that's also bad. All right, maybe I'll leave it where it was. Okay, leave that where it was because we can definitely fit the three by threes over here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move the training room because that is in a very prominent spot where it doesn't need to be. Back to, I guess here. Can we get another GP? So actually, I'll clone this one because this one has um, the aircon adjustment that I had to make. So I'll copy this one. We get another GP's office there. That means we also have another room, a room for another three by three room here. And I guess either a four by three or a three by three could fit down the end as well. So we have a few good options here. This aircon will move to there. I'm gonna preemptively move the these snack machines off that wall because we're probably going to build there later. The fracture ward is like the tiniest room ever, but I don't think we have really have a big queue of people needing to use that. So not too concerned about that. Let's hire another 
doctor, you got GP and treatment, and you've got diagnostics and, and a surgeon. Sure. It's expensive, but I'm going to do it. All right, so we've got three GP offices now. That should help us out a little bit. We need, oh no, we're just psychiatry. That's good. That's going to send some people. Let's have a look at the heating now. Oh, cooling. Okay, that's that's all good. It's a bit hot down there. We don't need to worry about that. Oh, I should probably get the ward back. I do. I didn't mean to get rid of it forever. I just wanted to build a new one. So the ward, let's get rid of that overlay. Can go, not in that weird I was, I was about to be like, let's put it down here. Uh, it can go over here instead. So if we go like that, we'll make it big enough because, you know, I think we do sometimes get influxes of people needing to use a ward. So we'll do this. I'm gonna get two screens and then this will leave us plenty of room to hopefully get enough beds. Can I, uh, you can't get them. The problem with the, yeah, the three wide is you can't get them like this, but we can do the really awkward layout like this. Is there like a wall object that we can just place or something just for some privacy, you know? Just something like a, like a fake wall kind of thing or not. Nah. Well, you guys are just gonna face each other. All right, so that'll be the new ward. Uh, I do need aircon in it. Of course, a can fit one there. Probably a small one over here somewhere. Maybe another small one over here. Nope, yeah. A little chilly, but should be all right. Okay, so the, the new ward's over there. We've now done the four marketing campaigns. We're just gonna cure one more person with stunt trouble and we should complete this one star hospital, which is nice. And you get one. Oh, and I also deleted my staff room. <laughs> I should probably get that back too. Oh, well, that goes on my money. Never mind. Okay, here's a bit of money. <laughs> okay, staff room. I'm gonna put it back here. I'm gonna extend it to here. So the staff room and the training room are kind of in this back corner. I think that makes sense. Here's a little television. They can have a little coffee table. Oh, hang on. Television over here. A little coffee table there. A little lamp in the corner. Drinks machine. Snack machine. A bin. I guess I can put that TV a little further back. Bin there. Give them a hand sanitizer so on their way out they can, you know, take care of that business. Got a bookcase. For some light reading, sweet dispenser, water cooler, coffee machine, nice rug, a moose head. You got a, little wicker, a couple of wicker chairs here as well because I want those. Oh, look at these sofas. Oh, L-shaped. So, oh, bean bag. Yeah. Maybe some lockers as well for our personal belongings. And I'll do an amusing snack machine. How about that? And another bin. All right, so I cannot afford this room right now, by the way. So I actually have to wait till I have a little bit more money. So if you guys could do your job, then I could build this room for you. There it is. All right, so now they the staff room again. Head office required. Oh, okay. Uh, 30,000. I'm gonna send them home. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't have that money right now. All right, what are the queues looking like here? We've got a few people waiting for that room. No one waiting for that room. A few people for the pharmacy. And still, you know, healthy queues for the GP's offices as well. That's pretty good. Producer idea, kill off three patients. <laughs> well, one wasn't enough. They want a triple threat. Well, look, if it's anything like my other hospitals, we'll probably get that naturally. Oh yeah, I was trying to get a level five room. I mean, I can get a level five staff room, I'm Sure. Oh wait, I have no money. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Let me wait till I have some money and then I should be able to do that. All right, so if we can cure one more person here, we'll have a one-star hospital too, which is pretty great. Yeah, we need the head office. I have no money for that, so send you home. Here we go. Yeah! Whoa! Let's go! All right, did we cure them? Yeah! Hey, we unlocked another hospital. We have 14 hospitals on the map that are unlocked, by the way. You've been awarded one star. So you've decided your chance in the arm in show business. It's a well-trod path of those who find success in the healthcare trade, but I warn you, it can only end in tears. Anyway, I remain confident that television is nothing more than a passing, albeit long-lived fad. Continue to fester in the realm of fiction or return to reality and get back to work. Dang, that's brutal. All right, staff morale it needs to be 80%. Well, I have 60 grand right now, so I bet you I can make the staff morale go up. If I give them a bunch of gold star awards in this room. Because I'm just really proud of our gold stars. So I, we just put up a lot of them. There we go. <laughs> Sweet. So will that help my staff morale a little bit? You know the other thing I could do? Um, One out of five for my show. I mean, it's not really my show. It's not really my fault either that they suck. Oh, look how much he's getting paid. Dang. And also Robert Cushion, or Roderick Cushion, sorry. Look how much he's getting paid. This is nuts. Give them all one more percent. Okay, now they're all pretty happy. Nurses, I'm gonna keep plusing one percent until they're super happy. Well, not super happy, moderately happy. There we go. I don't think I really have money to be able to afford to do this. But there you go. You're all getting paid a bit more now. All right, Roderick Cushion has to cure 16 patients, which is actually not that bad. If I put you into here and take, hang on, take you out of there. No, 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 no. You you work in here and he'll slowly get through that. Well, there's an earthquake on the way. With that, I'm gonna pause it. <laughs> So I'm gonna leave this part of Two Point Hospital. I almost said Theme Hospital, very similar game. Obviously developed by some of the same people too. Uh, I'm gonna leave this part here. Uh, so let me know in the comments down below if we should continue on this hospital and this challenge and keep going, because we're only a one-star hospital now. We're actually, 
I guess technically not that far of two star, but we have to cure, well, Roderick has to cure 16 more patients uh, to get to the two star. So let me know if you want to continue on this one or we go to one of the other 14 new ones that we can try out. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.